Category 1. Fight Poverty, Hunger and Disease RFI Shu, China RFI Shu is a virtual mouse application for disabled people using a pair of intelligent shoes. With radio frequency identification and Bluetooth, RFI Shu helps people with upper limb disability to control a mouse cursor with small feet gestures. RFI Shoe can be easily customized to suit each user, including their preferred primary foot, the amount of pressure exerted by the user's feet, and the user's preferred method of simulating mouse clicking. Regaining control with your feet, closing the digital divide. Omomi, Nigeria. Omomi means my child in Yoruba language. The app's unique features enable parents to monitor their children's health. They include a vaccination reminder, a child growth monitor, and a GPS locator to find hospitals. Omomi also has vital information on breastfeeding, family planning, and dietary options for babies. Most popular is Omomi's vibrant mother's community, which provides online discussion and crowdsources answers to specific questions. Omomi uses mobile ICT to take action against child mortality. Project Unweed Walk, PAW, Brazil. Unweed Walk is a project helping visually impaired persons to walk safely in cities, offering an alternative to canes which fail to detect objects affecting the upper body. PAW smart glasses help visually impaired people to detect obstacles. Users are notified through bracelets with vibracords. Data on the quality of the streets, their accessibility and a recommended route are offered by social networks and provide additional information. PAW uses big data and sensors for social inclusion. Category 2. Education for all. Smile Urbo, Spain. Smile Urbo is an interactive role-playing game that encourages players to deliberate social issues and to cooperate in order to facilitate development of their community. The setting is a small village in a developing country facing tough times – unemployment, emigration, poverty. One day, an investor comes to town with a proposal – what would be best for the community? Smile Urbo is a practical application of group decision-making and practicing democratic processes. ICT to learn action for real life. Zaya Class Cloud, India Zaya Class Cloud is a portable battery-operated Wi-Fi device that teachers can carry into the classroom and use to diagnose the learning levels of every child in math and English. Zaya is a local cloud and teachers can make digital content accessible for their students. Thanks to Zaya, kids in unconnected areas have access to content and teachers can measure effectively the learning curve of the students. ICTs delivering world-class learning to every child. StereoMe, United Kingdom StereoMe offers pre-recorded interactive audio lessons delivered by voice calls, reinforcing content and making it more engaging. Free for educators and learners, StereoMe is accessible to any learners with a feature phone 
without requiring internet access. StereoMe solution focuses on audio and telephone to address deficiencies in in-class learning and early school abandonment. Teachers save time distributing homework, are able to track learner progress and assess teaching quality. Audio empowering learners outside the classroom. Category 3 – Power to Women Ladybug – Iran Ladybug encourages Persian-speaking women to enter the IT world and to develop skills in IT. Ladybug offers a combination of role modeling and mentoring. Female IT professionals teach and guide Ladybug's members in their business, financial and managing ambitions. Members of the Ladybug Club benefit from online courses. Promoting female IT pioneers, members shall in the longer term be able to create their own startups or enter tech companies. Women empowerment through sharing of IT knowledge. Chat Salute, Nicaragua. Chat Salute is an SMS system connecting Nicaraguan youth to sexual and reproductive health information and local health services. It addresses the high levels of teenage ignorance. Chat Salute developed content which is more interactive, dynamic and attractive to a youth audience. It covers themes such as HIV, AIDS, safer sex and gender violence and encourages women to take charge of their reproductive health as well as to be responsible partners into adulthood. Mobile content for proactivity and responsibility. Yo decido, I decide, Guatemala. Yo decido, I decide works to reduce teenage pregnancies among Mayan young people. As most Mayan youth have cell phones, the project teaches them to produce their own video footage and spread it in the community. Video presentations are shared in local movie theaters and schools, showing what you think about the psychosocial problems that contribute to teenage pregnancies, thus breaking through taboos, making it difficult to talk about sexual and reproductive health. Youth educating youth with ICTs. Category 4 Create your culture. Minke, Colombia. Minke is a services swapping platform targeting underserved communities. It uses an online forum and SMS text messaging for community members to exchange services with the alternative currency, Time. Minke emphasizes that everyone has something to offer and that an empowered community can provide support for itself. Members receive profiles to advertise and trade what they can do with what they need using credits in form of hours. A well-established review system ensures fairness. ICTs cultivate social capital and cohesion. Citybugs, Armenia, creating a future for city living. Cities are full of problems, garbage and healthcare issues, unsafe street crossings, broken streetlights, unfit for the disabled. Citybugs lets citizens report any bug in their community to municipal authorities while tracking and validating the solution. Bugs are categorized and filtered and then reported for solutions. Using community action groups, Citybugs activates youth to overcome apathy and learn volunteerism while improving municipal services and holding governments accountable. Online Model United Nations OMUN Qatar OMUN is a non-profit organization run by young people from all over the world. As online branch of The Hague International Model United Nations, OMUN serves as an outlet for young people to express their views about international issues and discuss possible solutions to the world's most pressing problems, all in an online environment. It offers a digital platform to experience problem-solving and consensus-building, 
while fostering leadership and positive engagement. Intercultural dialogue for a better global understanding. Category 5. Go Green Ride It, India Ride It is an intercompany carpool matching service facilitating ride sharing in cars, motorbikes, auto rickshaws and cabs. With millions of Indian professionals traveling forth and back to work, Ride It reduces wasteful empty seats in all modes of transport. By integrating Google Maps API into the carpool search engine, Ride It shows users the most relevant carpool routes. Registration is limited to employees of major companies, providing a reliable level of safety. Ride It also facilitates women-only carpools. Connecting colleagues, sharing the same way. Berkebun Gardening, Indonesia. Indonesia Berkebun is a non-profit volunteer urban farming movement working through social media, including Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and the website. Gardening can be a tool for learning, community building and recreation, while also providing public green spaces in the city. Indonesia Berkebun turns vacant urban land into productive plots with economic value for gardening, food security, health and greening and makes urban farming simple, fun and rewarding. Mobilizing urban farmers with social media. Green is the new gangster, USA. Green is the new gangster fuses online and offline action and spreads awareness about important environmental issues. It promotes a more eco-conscious ethical lifestyle and inspires collective creative action with five platforms including a community-based arts project, a green consulting initiative, a crowdfunding platform, an eco-commerce platform and a fully integrated social marketing campaign. It encourages social or creative entrepreneurs and business to adopt environmentally friendly and sustainable practices and offers sustainable social goods. Green is cool, is you. Category 6. Pursue Truth The Slum Challenge, Denmark Understanding Slum Urbanization More than 1 billion people worldwide live in slum cities, most of them young. The interactive documentary film Slum Challenge presents the point of view of a Filipino boy. The storyline unfolds in 54 interconnected sequences and users have gamified options on what will happen next at the end of each sequence. The Slum Challenge addresses teens aged 13 to 18. It provides vivid insights into the dilemmas, pains and choices of life of the poor.